Hello YouTube, I'm Dawn and welcome to Double D Homestead and today I'm going to show you how I make stuffed peppers in the crock pot. Super easy, delicious all in one meal. So come on in here and I'll show you how we do this. I'm also going to make three batches to put in the freezer and I'll show you that too. So come on in. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is take our peppers. Remember these from the clearance rack? <laughs> and I'm just going to hollow my peppers out and separate look at what I just did carefully so I don't destroy the pepper and uh, pop the insides out and I'll put that in a bowl over here to take to my chickens make sure I get the seeds out and look at that I've washed these peppers good make sure you do that and I'm gonna clean the rest of these and I'll be back and show you the rest check this pepper out y'all look it's got a little baby bonus pepper growing in it <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> Alrighty, I got all my peppers cleaned out. Tina. And now what I have here is four pounds of ground beef, two whole onions, and if you're just wanting to make a small batch, one pound, I'll put the recipe for just using one pound down in the description so you can check that. And I'm gonna put about two cups of rice in here. And you can add more rice if you really need to stretch your hamburger. That's our ground beef. That's completely understandable, especially with prices today. Because I have four pounds of ground beef, I'm going to put four eggs in here. I'm going to get them in there, just like so. Oh, lovely. Look how dark those eggs yolks are. Gotta love farm eggs. And them eggshells will go in my garden. So we don't waste them. And then I'm gonna put in about two heaping teaspoons of salt, that's a little much, and two heaping teaspoons of black pepper, just like so. And I have a whole can of tomato, tomato sauce, and I'm gonna put that in there, but I've gotta open this. And then I'm just gonna dump this whole can in here and I'm gonna grab a little bit of water and rinse this out good so that I don't waste anything. You can see there's still quite a bit in there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in there, just like so. Rinse my can out good and get all the goodness in it. And then you're just gonna mix this up with your hands. Oops. And you're gonna get messy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this mixed up and we'll be right back. All right, I got my meat and all mixed up real nice here. Now I'm just gonna take these like this, stuff it in there nice and good, like so, and put it in my crock pot, just like so. I'm sticking them in the crock pot like so, and I'm gonna do three of these for our supper, just like I did the first one. Pour that, put that in there, and one more. And I got such a great deal on these peppers yesterday. I was so excited. I'll leave a link to that video if you haven't seen it in the description. So then I'm just gonna pour a quart of tomato juice on here. And just a tip, remember to plug your crock pot in and turn it on. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these on high for six hours. You could put them on low and go to work and you'll have them ready when you get home. And since Mark broke my crock pot lid, I'm just gonna cover this up with foil. And I'll show you what these look like when they're done in about six hours, because I have it on high. I had a bunch of meat left. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna make some stuffed cabbage and freeze it too. But anyway, I got my peppers all stuffed. Alrighty, my peppers are stuffed and I've made three vacuum sealer bags and I'm going to put three peppers in each bag, just like so. And these will go in the freezer and the next time we have stuffed peppers, all I got to do is take these out and put the tomato juice on them. Put them in the crock pot frozen, super simple, 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 fast, easy, well not fast because you're using the crock pot. Super easy way to have supper ready to go in the freezer. So, you don't need to hear the vacuum seal running. You can use Ziploc if you don't have this. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and get these put away. These are done. I'm gonna plate them up and show you how they look. He's the taste tester tonight. He's home. <laughs> How's it smell? It smells delicious. Ah. <laughs> And with that being said, y'all take care. God bless y'all. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.